Hi guys and welcome to the 2024 Project Pan intro. 24 makeup products in 2024. Now this is a late upload because I decided to take some time off from Project Panning. Project Panning can be quite mundane because you keep on using the same products time and time again and if you followed my Project Pan last year then you would know that last year I introduced products that were hardly used into this Project Pan so the entire year I was stuck with pretty much the same products. Now this year I'm actually doing the opposite of what I did last year. So this year I am naming this project an unfinished business project pan and the products that I will be introducing into it are either products that have already been in my project pan in the past, not necessarily last year but overall, or that are quite well used. Let me show you the products. The Urban Decay Shapeshifter Palette. This was in my project pan last year and I have made some really good progress on the items that were in the project pan but I have not actually used them up and this year I really want to use up a lot of the products that are in this palette because it is falling apart as you can see. This is just one side of the palette, these are the powders and as you can see these two were in my project pan last year and there is a big dent in them. This is the contouring powder and this is the bronzer and these are the two that I will be introducing into this uh, project pan. On top of that I am also introducing this, the highlight. This is not well used as you can see, this is hardly used, but because this is a part of this palette that is very well used, I'm also including it in this project pan, just so that I have this entire side completely used up. On top of this, this is the other side of the palette, these are the cream products, I've already used up the highlight, I have three concealers in the center and a contouring product on the side. And it is a contouring product that I will be introducing into this project pan, even though it is not very well used. It is used, I don't know if you can really see, it is definitely far from new. I would have ideally wanted to use up this entire palette, but these are concealers. The pans are really big. I hardly use a concealer these days unless for my under eyes. So I might want to pan this palette completely sometime down the line, but most certainly that's not going to happen in 2024. But these are the first four products that I will be introducing into this project pan. Now the next product is the brow pomade from Inglot. This was in my project pan last year but I didn't get to use it almost at all so there's still a lot of product left in this little pan. I suspect that it's probably going to be three to four months for me to use it uh, but it was in my project pan last year that's why I'm including it in this project. Now the next three products are from this palette. This is from the Balm. If you were following my project pan last year, you would have seen this palette plenty. The products I'll be introducing into this project pan are the two contouring powders and the blush, the orange blush. As you can see, all three have pans showing already. It will still be a few months before they are used up, especially the contouring powders, because I have two other contouring powders from Urban Decay that I will also be panning. And I really would love to use this whole palette up at some point again, unlikely this year. But... Maybe, maybe next year. I do love the other products, by the way. I love this blush, it's beautiful. And I also love the highlighting powders. So I'm not necessarily in a hurry to get rid of this palette. It's more so that once I'm done with those three products, it will be half gone, more than half gone, really. And I have one more face palette in this project pan. This is by Stila. As you can see, a very well used palette. They, these are primarily just concealers. I think there was a powder here and that's used up. So what I'm introducing into this project pan is this purple powder. For a long time I didn't know what to do with it but I've recently come across a few videos which are showing this powder, this sort of powder used as a brightening powder really. So I'm gonna see if I can use it this way. I mean the powder is hardly used as you can see but the palette is very well used and again I would love to have this palette used up but again I just have so many concealers in all of those palettes that I would have to use up so that's of course gonna take some time. This is definitely not gonna happen this year but I am actually on my way to use up three face palettes maybe next year. Another product from my last year's project pan. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation. It's not a see-through tube as you can see, so I don't know where I'm at exactly, but last year I use it almost every single day. It's just that it's such high coverage that you literally need like a tiny drop on the entire face, unless maybe you have issues with your skin, which I don't, not, not something that you can cover up with the foundation. I have a lot, a lot of dryness, but not really blemishes. So it will be still a bit of a 
journey. I would estimate that I am somewhere here maybe, but because you need so little, again, this is probably gonna be another three months at the very least of using this foundation every single day. Another product from Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid. I've had this product for years now, so that's why I want to use it up. And this is where I'm at now. This is kind of like a color correcting product for the under eyes. In the past, I never had major issues with my under eyes. Like I didn't have anything to cover really in that area. But as I grew older, I have noticed that actually you can see a lot of purple in the tear trough in particular. So I am now using under eye concealers on an everyday basis. Let's see how this one works because this is more of a color correcting concealer. But as far as I recall, it was a pretty decent product. I haven't used it in a while. The next product is from Perico ND and this is a bronzer. This is a liquid bronzer. This is called the No Bronzer Bronzer. I am somewhere here and it would appear that I have used up quite a bit of this product because it's more than one third used up. But actually that is not the case. I use it only a handful of times, but I think it actually evaporated. I have this issue with the droppers that products of different types tend to evaporate from the bottle. So this is why I've decided to include this and also because it is way past its expiry date. Pericon MD, they do have expiry dates on the products. This expired as far as I can see in I think 2000. 19. I don't care much for expiry products on anything really. I use products for as long as they are good and I've not tested this in a long time but I am hoping that it is good. Maybelline Expert Wear Blush in 79 Flash Plum. This is the blush that I had last year and I'm really shocked with how little I've managed to use up even though I was using it almost every single day. So this is the second year that I will be panning this product. It is falling out of the pan and it is broken so that's why I am quite keen on using it up. Up. I really like the color. It suits me very well. It's a very cool tone, very subtle blush. So it works really well on an everyday basis. And I am really hopeful that maybe this year I will get to use it up, even though last year it was a very, very slow progress. Yet another entry from my last year's project pan. This is the Elizabeth Arden Sheer Body Bronzer. I had pan last year, but it is a massive bronzer. It is 70 grams. And last year we had such bad weather during the summer that I didn't even get to use it very much. Because because I was wearing long sleeve all the time. So let's hope that this year I will finally use it up because I've had this bronzer in my project pan, I think maybe for two years, maybe even more, I can't remember. So I'm really keen to just get rid of it this year. Fingers crossed. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL eyeliner waterproof eyeliner pencil. It's very small at this point and you might think well there's nothing to use up here but actually it was a travel size to start with and I have been using it for about a year and a half almost every single day and I still have this much left. So this amount is probably another four months of an everyday use. That's why I'm still including this in this project pan. It's still a challenge. Just like last year, I have a ton of lip products. And the reason for that is because I am including all of the lip products that I did not use up last year in this year's project pan. I am not a quitter and I will persist. And these will be used up, especially since four out of six are about halfway gone. These are the three Revlon lip glosses. All of them are used up at least halfway through. One of them is used up even a little bit more. I love those lip glosses, especially this one. It's just so beautiful. So <laughs> on one hand, I want to use them up and just get rid of them because they're quite old and well used up. On the other hand, I'm like, but I really love this color so much. I don't want it to go. It's always like that with me. These two are from Maybelline. So one of them is almost completely full, but it was in my project pan last year. That's why I'm including it in this year's project pan. The other one is halfway gone. I am actually wearing it on my lips, but you can't tell because there's a very bright red lipstick underneath it. It goes really well with that the balm blush, the orangey one. So that's why I think the two would be a really nice combo. And again, it's about halfway empty now. Now the lip gloss actually has almost seven mils of product, which is quite large for a lip gloss. So it will still be a few months before it is used up, not to mention the other one that is almost completely full. And the last lip product is this Bourjois Lip Balm Cryon. Last year, I hardly touched it. This is from my last year's project pan. It's a lovely every day lip balm with a hint of coral pink color and there's quite a bit of a product
product here so I don't know how it's gonna go this year because I am really bad with panning lip products. I really don't know why, perhaps because I work for myself and I work from home so the only time I really need to wear anything on my lips is if I'm going somewhere or if I'm shooting a video. So I use lip products mostly just like once a day so that's why it's taking me so long to use anything up but fingers crossed I will have at least some of those products out of my collection this year. Now I have three nail polishes this year. I'm actually wearing one of them on my nails. <laughs> I love this color. I mean, I just, I love it. It's a, a matte color because there's some texture, grainy texture to this nail polish, but it just looks so pretty. And it's such a beautiful color. So I have the same nail polish in three different shades. This is Nicole by OPI. And these are basically the colors. I've marked them about halfway through each bottle because that's where I'm at. And actually I had to pour a little bit of, well, actually not just a little bit, quite a bit of nail polish remover because they they were so dry, those nail polishes, two out of three. So I needed to revive them before I was even able to apply them to my nails because they were so dry. And this is why I'm including them in this project pan because they are on their last leg. I love those colors. I will be glad to wear those colors throughout the year because I genuinely love every single one of them. And again, this is the issue that I always have. I enter products into my project pan and then all of a sudden it's like I rediscover this product and I am all of a sudden in love, in love with those products and this is basically what's happening every single year and now I love this nail polish and I don't want it to end because I love it so much and actually it lasts so long it lasts over a week without chipping and this is it in terms of the intro for this 2024 project pan I am very excited and I'm very hopeful for this year because so many of those products are so well used so I have no doubt that I will probably use up at least 90% of them the only ones that I am slightly concerned about are the lip products and the concern is that I might not be able to use up all of them that's the only concern but I think it's gonna be a really good year in terms of project planning thank you so much for watching I do hope that you enjoyed the video and I do hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already just to stay up to date with my progress we are literally at the beginning of this project plan so there's gonna be quite a few updates throughout the year thanks again and I will see you very soon bye guys